All right, this is a video on how the two firing mechanisms on the German Panzerfausts work. These two are ones I made. Neither of them are complete yet, but they should give you a pretty good idea. This one here. That's how it looks on top of the tube. The sight does go on like this. Not the other way, it doesn't fold over like you see on in a lot of pictures where it's folded down on top of it like this. It actually stays like this. This end is hooked up and the warhead, special pin on the side of the warhead, locks in there, holds the sight in place, which also keeps you from loading, well, from making ready the Panzerfaust before you bring up the sight. Anyways, once you bring up the sight, first off it locks into the open position like that. As you can see inside, it opens up a way for the firing pin move forward since that is now moved up Anyways. and then I take that off because it makes it easier to see how it is this way here the Panzerfaust was in the safe position you're able to make it ready to fire like this but in order to fire it it would have to be turned so to start it off, it's obviously sitting on top of the tube. If you haven't seen the Panzerfaust 30 Kleins or the 30 Gross, uh, you can always look one of those up and you'll see how it looks on top. Pretty simple, but mechanically to make it, although a lot of parts are pressed and cheap. There are a few too many pieces involved, a few too many springs, and for me it took a lot longer to build this one than to build that one. And I have no real machinery for actually doing it, so it was all pressed into shape with pieces of steel, hammer, vise, anything you find around most houses. I don't have any fancy machines for pressing steel, so I used what I had. Anyways, to make this work in the safe position, you push forward. You see the big spring tension on it. In the front, See how it locked down there? It sticks out. That's why you wouldn't be able to put it on when the sight is down because that metal will block it from sticking out like that. That is the firing pin. It goes a full length up to about here when it's released. Right now it's sitting about there. Anyways, at this point you could push a button it wouldn't fire the Panzerfaust in order to make it fire firing pin will fire back but it won't hit the primer so in order to make it fire this has to be turned to a 90 degree which lines up the hole on the bottom here the hole in this tube which is linked to the primer via an L shaped hole basically. Anyways, once it's like that it's in the back position like this via spring this button's pushed 
and you'll see and hear the firing pin fly back. And that would fire the Panzerfaust. So what you do is say you loaded it, you're ready to fire at something. You push this forward. Push forward. I have to keep this down because the way it is right now it doesn't it's not complete so it doesn't hold properly in the groove. You're ready to fire the tank and for whatever reason you didn't. You didn't need to, somebody else did. Anyways, to make it completely safe again, you wouldn't just want to fire it, what they told you to do, and you'll see it in instructions if you look up the instructions on how to use it, is you push this forward all the way, then you push the button like that, slowly bring it back, and now it's back to how it was right at the beginning. Alright. Now to see how this works, how it is made, on the inside, we'll just take this off, which is just holding it in temporarily for me. Normally it's a clip with a pin doing the same idea. So you pull and push in here, you just take this out, take that out. And now I should be able to... Alright, so taking it apart. Housing. This one here is pretty crappily made, but it works, so clean it up a bit. Once it's painted, it should look pretty decent. Firing pin. It's supposed to be one spring on it. I couldn't find the right length, so using two springs. This obviously I haven't made into the point for the firing pin. That's where it hits the primer. And when I'm ready, I'll do that. And you've got firing button. I'm not sure if it's exactly like this button, because I've never seen one out. I've been relying on Photoshop and blueprints. All right, that's obviously. Closing like that and locks into place there on that groove. So when you push down, it frees itself in the groove, and now that would be locked into the firing position in the tube. This spring in there just to keep it back. That's what that pin is for. It holds it in the groove here and it keeps the spring pressure up. This is just an end cap. I have to beat it out of some steel, throw a hole. So it looks pretty bad, but it works also. And the tube itself, as you can see, I made it out of a piece of sheet steel around a half inch mandrel and just brought it down smaller than that by grinding the edge until we got the diameter smaller. Anyways, what's in the tube here, this lines up here, in the safe position, this is up, as you can see in the pin here, there's, in here there's the pin rides, it's a lot of forward and backwards movement, that's how you cock it, then you turn it 90 degrees, and this holds it in the firing position, 
which as you see the hole here lines up with the hole that I showed you under there and when this comes in it hits a fire it hits a primer and the flame comes through here into the tube and sets off the black powder charge in the tube short grooves I put in here already the short grooves engage with the firing pin so you can push it back 90 degrees from these short grooves are longer grooves so when you do put it in the firing mode or take it off safe the long grooves let the firing pin move far enough to hit the primer in the short grooves they don't touch they've got a little bit of space between the primer and them so that's why it's still in the safe position that's why it can't fire as soon as you turn it here the grooves, will, the longer grooves, will let it go further in, hit the primer, send the flame down, and set off the black powder charge that's behind the warhead. Pretty simple device. Only problem is, as you can see, lots of parts, and it takes a bit more machining work for it.